from here. He's from here, around here. Okay, he's going to speak to you guys today. He was an assistant coach of mine last year at Short Ridge, and um, he has some things he's going to share with you guys. How you doing, everybody? My name is Bruce Ford, and, 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 and like he, uh, of course, uh, Strange said to you guys, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. I played at Washington High School. Uh, I played in 1986. I was a 10th league scorer in the county. Uh, I was one of the highest free throw percentage shooters, shooting free throws at, at the school. And uh, I just want to motivate y'all to just kind of encourage y'all to let you all know about this opportunity that you're in. And how many players is it on the team? Okay, how many players do you need on the court? So you got everything you need, right? I want to say this to you. If you believe you can beat these, this team, you can. But can I tell you a little bit about my score? See, at one time in my life, I was unemployed and alone with no money to eat. Eviction notice on the door. No water to eat. Son's clothes was fitting snug, shoes tight on feet. But I still was having dreams of putting lyrics to beat. Now I don't want to come and get it, I don't need this call. Had so far to go, but yet, came so far. Now in the morning, in the mirror, I asked myself who you are while I'm trying to keep my focus while I'm raising the ball. And then it crept deep into my mind that one day, precious only use is to refine in one day. I'ma try to take all that is mine and climb up to the top of the mountain which others deem impossible. Obstacles get top of roof. In one day, these haters won't even bother. And one day, I'ma be in a place that no more will I lack because it ain't where you from, it's where you at. And I believe that. So when I make it to the top, I'ma buy what I want. I'ma buy my mama's crib. I'm a flash when I'm flunk. I hope somebody with some wisdom shows the do's and the don'ts so I don't meet no Meg the Stallion. Hope I will, but I won't. I'm headed toward the top. Won't you meet me there? I don't care about your race just as long as you fair. I got people on my case asking, Mr. Ford, do we care? Well, we're the same people with my fridge is there. Now, I'm a trip. I'm a dog. I'm a thug with no plan. No, no. I'm a father. I'm a business. I'm a god fearing man. I was the one that's on the side with his face in the sand. You know the one that kept his faith when God told him to stand. And you can love it, you can hate it. It don't matter that much. I've been too busy living to even see you that much. With such grieving and deceiving everybody distressed, I'm believing it's my seat all around me blessed. So Lord, please take my soul about this atmosphere. Take my place among the stars. Ain't no haters here. Been so deep up in this game that I can't leave. You see, I switched my altitude. Haters can't breathe, but I hear them gas. I see you on the side, lad. So much for me to do, I'm multitasking. And what you want to do, don't mind me asking. Now where you headed to, and what's your passion? What I hear moves you, don't ever let this game fool you. It's only aim to spit you out and may confuse you. Take this little bit from me, it might amuse you. But what you need from me, is I don't want to lose you. I love you all. And as I told you, I started out as a basketball player, right? Everybody that starts out as a basketball player think they're going to the league. And I honestly believe that. You know in your head you like you have dreams, right? But I didn't know that basketball would help me be a better boy. Whoever had heard of the Wiz? You heard of the Wiz? You heard of, everybody heard of the Wizard of Oz, right? You remember the Wiz with Michael Jackson and Donald Ross? I don't even think the coaches know this. I did 11 sold out shows. I was on the cast of the Wiz. At the end of the okay? I played a lot with Lord High under right before the basketball season started last year. But you know why? You know how I got that role? Because of what I believed as a high school basketball player. The trials and tribulations that I went through. You ever heard of people taking like one part of you and doing something a different way and then putting another area of their life? It was discipline. That's how I memorized my lines. It was me having a goal and a dream. That's how I, I, I went ahead and auditioned, and I got the part. Because I, I learned to belief on this court. When I was at Washington, we won the city championship my freshman year, right? Then two or three years after that, we went down, we had players leave, players drop off. And then when I got to my senior year, I wound up being the tallest player on the team. But I was a shooter from the outside. So to let you know that, I had to change my game around, right? So you all had dreams of playing high school ball, am I right? Okay. okay, did you picture it to be like this? 
let's be honest. Okay. okay. But, but you know what? You know what? It wouldn't be on you if you weren't prepared for it. Let me tell you something. When you all go out and play short reads tomorrow, I want you all to move around. I want you to move. I want you to understand that this is your time and this is your destiny. This will be your only time. The one thing that I recall in life is, I remember I scored 26 points against Terre Haute South. It was like number three in the state. You know what I mean? And sometimes when I get in tough situations, I think about how I did that, how I was focused and disciplined. So when I got on stage, I was the, I, with, with the Wiz, whenever the Wiz was going on, I was on act two. I was the first person that they heard voice on act two, right? So you know what they told me in the, in the cast? I, I paid attention to my, my castmates. This is a professional cast. And I was a professional now, right? So the director came to me and said, Bruce, you control the energy. Because when I come out, that sets the tone. So when the second scene came up, I had to come up with my energy to make sure the act two was. And I knew it, and you know what? It was great pressure on me. It was great pressure on me to have that. This is my line, you remember this, son? The curtains would open up, and I'd come out and I'd say, make way! Make way for the wicked witch of the west. And I had a whip and I was back. Oh, I'm my breath. That's why I'm very good. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is, I knew it was all on me. Just like I knew it was all on me in, in high school basketball. You feel me? Because I took that. If I didn't have that and I didn't work that hard, that discipline, I wouldn't be nothing in the stage. I had to pull back. Because all of us get butterflies, right? If it's something that you love and that you believe in, you'll get butterflies. But you know what? It's your, your purpose. You're here for this time. Who remember uh, uh, Metropolitan High School? You remember they won the state championship? You remember Strange? There was a good young man on the team. His name was Boosie. Boosie was always, you know, I was a youth manager at, at the boys club at the time. And Boosie was always, you know, out in the street. And he had a nice jump shot and different things was going on. But when they went through uh, uh, that state final, everybody didn't believe in them. They didn't know they were going to come out of nowhere and win the state. Here's the one thing about Boosie. Boosie had a chance, but he chose to go back to the streets. The same year he won the state championship, the same year he passed away as a kid. You know what I'm saying? You, you, heard, you, you heard Boosie? You know? Well, let me tell you this. He had a potential, he had a choice. He could have went here, but he went there. This is not given to you. You will have to work for this. And I'm telling you, this is a special group. This is a special group. Consider yourself special. Consider yourself blessed to be in this predicament. You realize when you go out there, man, and put your focus to it, if you can make some things happen, you gonna remember y'all. Y'all go out there with pride, man, and play home. And this is one, one thing I want to tell you, like I told my son. Go out there physically, emotionally, and mentally and give it y'all. You all should be exhausted. You all play 2K? Okay. I stopped playing 2K. You know what? It was exhausting playing that. I'm not supposed to be tired playing games. But you know, you get them last second games, you, you, and you thinking you, and you doing like you're trying to get the victory, you mentally exhausted, aren't you? Sometimes you can't do nothing else because you're tired. That's the way it should be tomorrow when you all play short pitch. You feel me? What's your dreams, man? What do you want to be when you, when you, uh, when you call it, uh, when you graduate from Marine? Okay. 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 Oh, man. Great thing. Great thing. Great thing. What about you, my man? Okay. Okay. Can you be What about you, brother? I got a cut into the aircraft again. What about you, sir? Still trying? That's okay. That's okay. What about you, my man? My man? I was hoping to get a scholarship on baseball. Okay. 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 Look at, hey, hey, out of eye. What's up? Scholarship for baseball? I'm going to tell you, out of eye, man. I believe in you. Okay? What about you, sir? See, that's cool. That's cool. Let me tell you something that, 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 that a man came to me. I was already grown. The man came to me and he said, Bruce, what is your purpose? Man, I don't even know. And he told me this. He said, whatever you hate the most is your purpose. That don't make sense, dude. He said, whatever you hate the most is your purpose. So he asked me, what did I hate the most? I said, man, I can't stand player hate. He 
He said, what do you mean? And I compared it to basketball. I use the basketball now. I can't stand being on the court, taking charges, shooting, playing defense, and somebody on the sideline talking about you can't move. Look at you, you look crazy out there. Ain't enough of y'all out there. You know what I mean? I can't stand it. So he looked at me and he said this. What you gonna do about it? I said, man, that's when I started writing poems about hate and how I was gonna destroy them and how I was gonna kill them on the mic. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, I did a one-man show. I came up with a one-man show. And I got, I got uh, 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 booked to do the, uh, 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 I was uh, speaking at the first black married country club in Hills, Illinois. They paid me $700 for 25 minutes. And guess what I talked about? This is a black guy fan. The first black mayor of Country Club Hill, Illinois. And I talked about life and security and love. Then I realized that was universal. Everything you're going through right now, somebody in Carmel is going through. Don't think money is going, going to get you away from situations that you feel in your heart. But you got to go for your purpose. You feel what I'm saying? Let's say, for example, let's say you hated homelessness, right? You hated homelessness. And I asked you, so what you gonna do about it? And you said, okay, I'm gonna write a play about homelessness. And then I'm gonna get the, ask the school, can I borrow the gym? And then uh, I'm gonna sell tickets. And next thing you know, you become bad in homelessness. And you be known as a playwright. You feel what I'm saying? Use this opportunity, this thing that you're going through. Cause you know what, you're gonna have haters on the outside. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Y'all ain't gonna be this, y'all ain't gonna be that. But this is your time. 2021 is you. Don't let nobody step in your way. This could be the team that goes far. You know what's so crazy? Feel me when I'm very safe. And this ain't crazy. Somebody could write a movie about this right now. Real talk. Who, who, who watched Rudy? Rudy? Okay. Movies? Huh? Let, let's even go. Let's even go to the movements. Martin Luther King. You heard of Martin Luther King? You heard of Martin Luther King? All right. Let me get some participation. I know you, you, you the guard, right? Are you the point? Hold on, man, take it, let me up. Let me, let me say this to you, as a point, right? You know what that means? Leadership. That means guiding your, your squad. Now, real talk, man, and, and let me tell you, 2021, these dudes are following you in 2031. If you show some heart right now, right now. And ain't no telling what you're gonna be then. You feel where I'm coming from? When he was marching, man, you think he was worried? You was thinking that they gonna have a holiday about him? You think he was thinking, man, they gonna make a movie about you, Martin? He was like, no, nah, this has to be done. You feel me? Tomorrow when y'all play, has to be done. It has to be done, man. Leave it out on the court, man. The one thing that I like when I go to Washington High School is when they recognize a game and some of that, you remember you did, you did. Remember we had the, uh, they had the Washington High School legends come back then, last year. And they, they called me a legend. So I went out there, man, I walked on their court. This was 2019, I, did, I wasn't on their court in 1986 is when I did my thing. But to stay in there and have my son there and they give me a certificate. Man, when I played 1986, you think I was thinking about a child and a son? I was thinking about prom and the girl. You feel me? But I knew this was my first love, right? So my first love is what brought back in 2019. And then what happened, after I came on the stage, the alumni came up to me and said, hey, we heard you do poetry. What you think about doing one of your shows here to make money for the alumni? Feel where I'm coming from? Because I laid it down in 1986 with my heart. I came back in 2019, and they asked me to come back, because that's my best. You feel me? Let me talk to you about some things real quick.